The Biden administration's green team is launching a new battle in its war on household appliances. First, it was an attempted ban on gas stoves. Then they went after incandescent light bulbs. Then washing machines. And now they're coming for your dishwasher. Mm -mm. With new rules that dramatically cuts the amount of water use per cycle. And that means, just like with washing machines, that folks will have to run their machines more than once to get everything clean. Congressman... <laughs> What's next? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows at this point? I mean, night lights. I mean, what? <laughs> I'm scared of the dark. They gave me a night light. I, but, they're but look, I think this is a bigger issue. They, they're coming at these chipping, chipping, chipping. And it's not for this generation. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't think it is. I think what this is is, a again, some of the issues that we may talk about is for the younger generation. They're, they're downplaying this and they're saying in the minds of, of kids and you'll start seeing this put into, you know, more dishwashers are bad. You're saving the planet. Yes. They're going to say... So yes. they're, they're training the next generation to learn that this is okay. This is, this is right. We're in control. We've got everything under control for you. Don't worry about it. The problem is, is whenever they come at this and whenever a liberal government solution comes, it always comes with a bigger price tag than what they say. They're going to be using more water because you're going to wash them in the sink. You're going to have to wash them twice. It's just like the, the light bulbs, the cars, the ethanol, all of this just plays into the fact we know better and they're training us to depend on them more. That's right. And Rachel, with your large, beautiful mm. family, to Doug's point, the government keeps sort of demanding XYZ mm. and, and legislating XYZ without providing for the transition. And they don't realize that what they're demanding of household families is shooting them in the foot with what they're <laughs> trying to accomplish. So it's interesting you said um, that, you know, it's going to affect the next generation. It's affecting me right now. I have two <laughs> dishwashers. I've always had two dishwashers because I have a lot of kids. And I have 20-year-old dishwashers in my house, and I keep trying to get them repaired, which costs me money, because the green ones don't work. And like you said, you have to do it again and again. Mm -hmm, yeah. This is a war on modern life. This mm -hmm. is a war on families. And you're right. They want to lower our standard of living. They say, you'll have less and you'll be OK. Remember, they said, you won't own anything and you'll still be happy. That's the great yeah. reset. These are. This is the green religion um, that puts um, green and trees and, and by the way, a lot of grift and, and, and everything else ahead of real human beings and, and our way of life. And, and this is what this is an attack on. And while it's being painted by the left, any type of criticism or pushback as some type of, you know, far right ideology and refusal to sort of embrace any type of flexibility, the reality is a million groups have sued over this, including the Restaurant Association mm. of the United States and more that would be deeply and negatively impacted by these ridiculous executive orders and legislation. Proposals. Yeah, and Biden may come to regret this because of those lawsuits. And here's what I mean by it. Axios calls it Biden's green gamble. They're calling it a gamble because they say Americans are resistant to top down force. And they point to the vaccine mandate and how much backlash there was. And you remember there's a lawsuit and part of that was struck down. So Biden may find this is not all that popular electorally. Harris. Um, I don't do nasty. And so I, I really detest the idea that somebody is going to tell me to just deal with eating off unclean dishes, mm. deal with clothes that might not be as fresh. <laughs> I live with athletes. I need fresh clothes. Mm -hmm. I live with human beings who like to eat home-cooked sticky food. Mm -hmm. I need a dishwasher that doesn't turn me into a human dishwasher. <laughs> yes. Since we actually own a dishwasher. Like, I, I agree with you. It is for the future generations to live with less and still be happy. I love yes. the way you put that. Mm -hmm. I'm happy now. <laughs> yeah. Right. And you're right. The level of volume, of course, conveniently forgotten by the administration, the hospitality industry, hotels, resorts, I feel bad for NFL, businesses. NBA, exactly. None of this at all makes any and, and Emily sense. might lose the Hispanic vote when we can't warm our tortillas on gas stoves. So I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay. another thing to consider. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.